Welcome to DIY Easy Crafts. Today we're going to take a look at how to easily make a cast resin checkers or chessboard. Now I started with a silicone mold. I got this on Amazon. I think it was about $10. I was very surprised to see how shallow uh, the, the little squares were. Um, not very deep at all. Uh, so there's definitely going to be a little bit of a learning curve to using this. I mixed up some Total Boat Thick Set Resin. Uh, you mix it slowly for about five minutes. Then I split it into two separate containers. I mixed a little dark blue uh, into one, and I mixed some uh, light blue into the other. And I'm using a very fine paintbrush to try to get that um, resin into the corners of this mold without flowing over. Uh, that did not work very successfully at all. Um, the resin just seemed to bubble up. It didn't stay uh, in the corners well, um, so that, that kind of failed. Uh, later, I just went on to, a, to use like a pin, and I, uh, I was able to move the, the resin around a little bit. What I ended up doing was just adding additional resin. In this case, I added some uh, light blue to the dark blue that was already in each square, just visually uh, trying to add the amount needed without overflowing. Um, and, and that's a real problem. If you, if you overflow, then, then you've got to wait for the stuff to dry before you can really clean it up. So I was very careful. At the end, I just was adding one drip at a time, uh, trying to fill up each particular square. And what I, what I really did was I put dark blue on, in one corner or on one side and light blue on the other, and I kind of let them, let them merge. Once you get the darker color all done, you really want to let that harden at least for 24 hours so that if you do make a mistake and overflow the next color, you can clean it up you know, without having a major problem. I used a pearl white uh, for the white and then I um, mixed another batch of the Total Boat Thick Set Resin, uh, just clear, and I poured clear over the entire, over the entire surface. Now this mold is designed so that the bottom is actually going to be the top of the checkers board. That's not how it turned out in my case. Uh, the mold removed very easily. This was after about five to six days of curing. You can see that the top has nice um, you know, cutouts from, from each one of those squares, but I like the color of each of the dark light blue on the bottom. So I'm going to use the bottom as the top of my checkers board. This is the finished product. It actually came out, I was very, very happy with it. I even cast, uh, cast the checkers pieces. The, uh, the mold for the checkers pieces came with uh, the checkers board mold. So anyway, this is a very simple, although a little bit tedious, uh, do-it-yourself project. I hope you enjoyed the video. I would like to ask you to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'd also like to give you an invite to, to uh, check us out on the web at www.diy easycrafts.com. There's an assortment of do-it-yourself projects and crafts uh, that you can look through. Thank you very much.